Hello and welcome back to Swift Goose. Today I wanted to show you what happens when you use Apple's photogrammetry framework on a room that contains way too many objects and desperately needs to be decluttered. As you can see, there's boxes, there's some instruments, there's a chair, some clothes, and some books, and then also a rifle. And I wanted to see what would happen when we plugged all this into the framework. Okay, so here's how the room turned out. As you can see, most of it actually came through pretty well. We have a good amount of detail level in the boxes, and you can see the text just fine. Let me scroll down here and see the other boxes. Guitar case is there. And I really like how the fabric came out on the rifle bag. So if we go in a little bit further, just the strap came out well and the texture of the bag itself. Really nice. Looks pretty convincing, especially when you step away from it. The chair as well. The crispy texture of the chair and the faux leather on the chair turned out pretty well too. And even the books, which were pretty far away, again, pretty good and convincing detail level. Scroll up, see we got our data structures and algorithms book and some other things on the desk. And finally, of course, we got the rifle. Now we have some floating odd texture here. I'm not really sure what that is or why that happened, but let's go back in. We see that we have a double trigger as well. So the framework is doing the best it can to basically remap this whole room. And I think it did a pretty good job given that this was taken with an iPhone XR where there's no LiDAR available. I'll be curious to see what happens when I use a phone that has LiDAR sensors available. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy the day.